You can find an overview of all my videos at www.genesispc.com and you click on the button videos on YouTube and you get a complete listing of all the videos I created for you on Excel on Excel VBA on Access Access VBA and VB script tips we have a very simple access database here. It has three tables and three forms. If I open the form list employees, because I am happen to be in this record, it, it has a pop-up form that says in which department that person is. I can close it, but at the moment I go to another record, it pops up again and it says that person is in this department. And I can click on another one and it keeps changing and changing. I can also double click on the hourly rate. And then it gives me a list of how many hours this person has worked so far. How do you create all of this? First of all, let me show you the background relationships. One employee has many timesheet. The connection is the employee ID. Here is the primary key. There is the foreign key. One department has many employees. The primary key, department ID and the department ID there. So through that department ID I can open a form that shows me the department for a specific employee and a timesheet for a specific employee. How do we do it? I go to form list employees again in design view and I make sure that the form has at least a few events. It has an on current code, an on load code and an on deactivate code. So let's start with on load. I'm going to the screen behind it. There is a form current event, a form deactivate event, a form load event, and a double click on the hourly rate event. Start with the form current one. Current means each time I go to a new record, this event kicks in and then it creates a form Departments. How does it do that? Declare a form of the type form. Set that O form to the form form departments. That's the name of that form. We make that form appear by setting the visible to true and the modal setting to false. That means you can still click somewhere else in the record without being stopped from that by the pop-up form. Then we change the caption of that form to the last name of the form record we are in and the first name of the record we are in. We set a filter for O form to the department ID equals the department ID from the form I happen to be in, the record of the form I happen to be in, and turn the filter on. In the next event, we make the pop-up form disappear. So when we deactivate that form, we set O form again to form department. We make it invisible and we do something similar for the form timesheet. When the form loads, we set the inside height to the window height, minus thousands units and the width to the window width minus 800. And then we do an hourly rate double click event. We declare three variables. One is of the DAO record set type. So you have to make sure that through tools, references, that you do have a reference to the Microsoft object. 
otherwise you cannot get dao.records. We do something like we did before for the other pop-up form. We make a reference through O form to the form timesheets. We set the caption. But this time the filter is whatever the employee ID is of the record I happen to be in this form. That is going to be the employee ID for the subform. Set the filter on. Then I want to find out how high that form should be. So I need to talk to the record. So I need to talk to the record set clone behind this form. That is a, a virtual copy of the form's record set. I count how many records we have. I multiply it by 500. That is the height of each record in the form approximately. This is eyeballing. Trial and error. And then I add a plus 800 for the header and the footer. So the inside height of the form is I size. The inside width is something like 5500 depending on your form. And make the form true. Thanks to all of this. All of this should work. How did we create this form? Basically very simple. I'm closing it for now. You go to create and then the form wizard and say based on the table employees I want the form list employees and you move all the fields in here or you take out a few if you want to and make sure on the next one that you make it tabular. That's the way it looks in my case. I'm canceling all of this. So here is the form. And each time I open that, automatically the on current event kicks in, because that is now the new record. And it shows for that employee the department. So you had to make this form first, in whatever way you want to. And again, as I told you before, when you go to another record, it will adjust that subform. If you double click on here, it will say in this case the person has four timesheets, so I have to make it a little higher. This is the record for Barbara Bush. There is a total hours in there, and each time I go to another record, that first form will disappear, and it shows now the record for this person. Or that person, Bill Clinton. And if I click on double click on Bill Clinton's timesheet, these are the timesheets for Bill Clinton. When I close this main form, everything will that is the deactivate event, everything will automatically disappear. I, I think I have shown you most things you need to know. If you want to know how you make a subtotal here. I'm not going to explain that in this video. That is very basic access knowledge. Where do you find all that information? You can find it on my CD-ROM, Your Access to the World. You can find it for genesispc.com and it has all this information how you make these forms, how you do form design, how you can do calculations in queries, how you can do calculations in forms and reports. All of this can be found on that CD-ROM.